Who is Julius Malima? Political history, career, childhood, and facts. As the 2019 general elections dawn, we look at the big three leaders contesting for South Africa's votes on May 8, 2019. Here's a snapshot of Julius Malima's life and career. Julius Malima, the firebrand leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, is arguably South Africa's greatest political provocateur. Mention the name Malima, and it almost immediately elicits fury and apprehension from political parties and concerned citizens. Also read, a comprehensive and detailed Julius Malima biography. Long before Malima traded his green and black African National Congress, ANC, fatigues for a red beret, he was singing the tune of revolution, Malima's childhood in brief. On March 3, 1981, Julius Sayo Malima was born in Sashego, Limpopo, to a single mother who worked as a domestic worker to make ends meet. Malima grew up poor, and cites the socio-economic strife endured by his mother as an overarching reason for his interest in politics. He lost his mother at a young age, and his grandmother raised him. Also read, a comprehensive and detailed Musi My Main biography. Malima attended Molokaning High School in Sashego and went on to complete a two-year diploma in youth development through the University of South Africa, UNISA, in 2010. The following year, he re-enrolled at UNISA, this time undertaking a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communications and African Languages. Malima's foray into politics, he started young. Malima's political career began at the tender age of nine. He joined the African National Congress's Massapatsala Trailblazers movement at a time when the country's political landscape was experiencing a tumultuous genesis. Social media caption, EFFCIC Julius Malima reiterating the commitments of the EFF in a plan of action towards achieving economic emancipation in our lifetime. Slash image via Twitter at EFF South Africa. According to Malima, he was tasked with removing National Party, MP, posters placed outside police stations in the run-up to South Africa's first democratic elections. Also read, a comprehensive and detailed Cyril Ramaphosa biography. Malima's radical populist political ideology catapulted him to a seat of power in April 2008, when he was elected as president of the ANCYL. The election process was criticized for reports of voter intimidation. Criticism. No stranger to criticism, perhaps more so than any of the other big three leaders, these are some of the most prominent controversies that have surrounded Malima. Malima's endorsement of Robert Mugabe during his visit to Zimbabwe, at a time when President Zuma was trying to broker a negotiated settlement in the country. A controversial incident between Malima and a BBC journalist, Jonah Fisher, whereby the ANCYL leader lambasted the reporter during a question-and-answer session. This incident led Zuma to publicly condemn Malima, a watershed moment. Malima's comments on the murder of Eugene Terrablanche in 2010 which relate to the infamous Shoot the Boar, Dubal, Ibhunu song. Malima's unfavorable comparison of Zuma to his predecessor Thabo Mbeki, after Zuma called a press conference reprimanding Malima. Interesting facts about Julius Malima. Julius Malima married his longtime girlfriend and had a son Munzhedzi in 2016. Their second son Kapana was born in 2018. Malima also has a son named Ratane from a previous relationship with Maripeng Ramalu. Malima's incredible weight loss transformation has been well publicized. The EFF leader has attributed his physical transformation to a life of sobriety, healthy eating, and exercise. In December 2013, Malima was arrested for speeding 215 km per hour in a 120 km per hour zone in his BMW in Gauteng. Yeah. Malima obtained his BA degree in political leadership and citizenship from UNISA on March 30, 2016. Looking to buy a good quality pre-owned vehicle? Click here. Tags. 2019 South African Elections. African National Congress. ANC. Cyril Ramaphosa. Democratic Alliance. Da. Economic Freedom Fighters. EFF. Elections and Voting.